The incumbent member of parliament for Menshia North, Colin Zowusu Amankwa, and his main contender, Akwesi Kunedu, are both filing for the constituency primary of the NPP in a volatile environment. Constituency executives have currently deserted the party office as Colin Amankwa goes to file his nomination. Similar tension ensued in 2016, creating sharp division in the party. William Evans Nkum has been gauging the mood in the Menshia North constituency and joy joins us. And uh, if you missed this, we're referring to the Menshia North constituency. Um, our man Evans Nkum is there and is gauging the mood. And that's because the incumbent member of parliament for Menshia North, Collins Owusu Amankwa, and his main contender, Akwisi Kunedu, are both filing for constituency primary of the NPP in a volatile environment. Constituency executives have uh, currently deserted the office, the party office, as Colin Zamankwa goes to file his nomination. Evans is there and he joins us. Hello, Evans. Region is concerned. I mean, today has been a busy day for some of the aspirants, as far as the MPP race is concerned. I'm talking about the parliamentary, I mean, uh, candidates race or primaries, which is scheduled for uh, April 25th is concerned. A number of them are filing their nomination. But if you come to Mencia North constituency, you see some level of euphoria, but beneath the surface, there is a burning issue. And this, is, this one is not new to this particular constituency, because if you could remember sometime in 2015, I mean, a similar situation happened. In 2016, it turned to be very ugly. That is around that time, I'm talking about exactly May, when the regional chairman of the ruling New Patriotic Party in the Ashanti region, Bernadette Bosiako, has some level of altercation with the member of parliament for Mensha North constituency, Colin Zouza Makwa, that even resulted in some slap. I mean, the who to me was incarcerated for 20 four hours that the police uh, but released. There was peace afterwards. But I can tell you that the MP or the incumbent MP that uh, Kwali Zosua Mankwa is here to f I mean, uh, file his nomination forms or I mean, pay his fee just to um, get to the next stage of this particular process. That is the vetting stage. But I can tell you that none of the executives is here to receive the filing fee. I will be speaking to the uh, the only executive who is here actually is the constituency organizer, uh, Alhaji Castro. I will be talking to him or engaging him to find out what is happening between the member of parliament and the executive. So we know that at a normal circumstance, you are supposed to be here. The chairman or the secretary is supposed to be here to take the filing fee. But none is here. Perception of you. What is happening? Thank you very much. Uh, my, my, reg my, my regard to your, your, your viewers and my listeners. Um, there is nothing. There is nothing serious happening in the constituency, except that the executives have decided to to, to, to go against the MP. You are, you are a member of the executive. Yeah, I am a member of the executive. But we we all sat down with the regional chairman to the extent that we should come out with, with a compromise so that we can come and support the MP for him to go for the next term. But I believe that upon a second thought, the executive. Right, so you 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 have taken a stance as far as this democratic process is concerned. Of course. I, I need to show the way because I'm the youth organizer and having been the youth organizer for the past three, three to four years I need to show the youth the way in the party the way the party is moving towards I need to tell the youth that we need to go this direction so that the party will allow them Do you think that has also deepened the faction within the Mensha North constituency part, I mean um, uh, the, the MPP because you are not supposed to use the structure to support any candidate as an executive member of the party, you are supposed to be the referee. But when you tow a certain line, are you not giving a certain impression? No, it's not, it's not that I'm creating a certain impression. I'm only telling the electorates that once the MP has done well, me, I'm not doing for my, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it based on the grassroots support the MP keeps on receiving. It is coming from the grassroots. Mama, let me tell you something. Even the MP, when the MP wanted to pick nominations, the police station is themselves contributed their own quota. They contributed one, 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 one Ghana, two, two Ghana, three, three Ghana cities to go and pick the nominations for the MP. So if the
police station executives themselves have shown the way. Who am I to stay aside? So I need to join. But a, a good number of the executives, the chairman, the secretary, the women's organizer, and what have you, they've all left the MP to its face. They have, they, see, they have left the MP a very long time ago. In every primaries, the executives, they choose their way to go against the MP. But yes, still the MP wins the elections. So the MP, I will tell you that the MP doesn't need the support of the entire executives to win an election. When you are talking about the Kumasi political enclave, it appears that Meshiam North has always got in the bad name because of what happened in 2016, resulting in some level of um, one who say clashes between the camp of the MP and even the uh, uh, the regional, I mean, executive. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the regional chairman. At the point in time, the Regional chairman even slapped the MP, which ended up in the police station. Don't you think that you are deeply tension that is likely to escalate to something ugly? Right now, what you said right now it, 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 it did happen. In fact, it did happen. But I can tell you emphatically that those issues have been resolved now. And I can tell you that the regional chairman himself is even in support of the MP's bid for his second term. So I will tell you that there is no problem between the regional chairman and the MP at the moment. But what happened in th those days was quite unfortunate. But let me assure you, I mean, let me assure you that the MP has taken and the, the necessary steps to bridge the gap between him and the regional chairman man going forward into this particular primaries. Well, so it is just a matter of time, but I can tell you that if you go to a place like Bantama constituency, the uh, incumbent MP um, Ochem, Daniel Ochema Waje is filing for um, that particular constituency. Remember last week, the Deputy Chief of Staff, as I said, Waje, filed. He's also going to be uh, some level of uh, com deeper competition as far as that particular political enclave is concerned. But for Mention not, we are still gauging the mood because 2016 it was ugly and we started like this, then it graduated to something ugly. Well, it's just a matter of time, but we keep on gauging the mood as far as the political environment here is concerned. My name is William Evans Inkum for TV3 News, Mention North.